Today, I'm going to talk about COVID vaccine and boosters for children. I'm entitling it, Moving from Good to Great. My name is Charles Prober, and I'm a pediatric infectious disease expert. Welcome to Viral Fat with Digital Net. If you already have had your children who are five years and older vaccinated against COVID, congratulations. They are in good shape for fighting off COVID disease. Now that booster shots are available for children, you can move them from good shape to great shape. I will explain. The most frequent questions that parents have been asking about vaccinating and boosting children against COVID are why, when, and how. First, why should children get vaccinated and boosted? Although fortunately, children are much less likely to get very sick from COVID-19, in the United States alone, over 12 million cases in children have occurred. Just in the week ending on February the 3rd, 2022, over 630,000 cases in children have been reported. This is over one quarter of all of the cases in the United States and the most cases in children in any week since the beginning of the pandemic. Recently, over 650 children have been hospitalized because of COVID every single day. Since the beginning of the pandemic, about two years ago, more than 1,000 children have died from COVID. A large recently published study noted that about 6% of children who contract COVID will be hospitalized and 1% will die. This may sound like a low percent, but of course, a single death of a child is not acceptable. These statistics should make it obvious that preventing COVID disease in children is an imperative. There's another important reason for vaccinating our children as soon as they are eligible. Vaccinated children are much less likely to spread COVID to others because they are less likely to get infected themselves. And even if they get infected, they are less contagious. So they are less likely to spread the virus to their friends and families including people who could get very sick from COVID, such as those with underlying conditions and the elderly. Second, when should children get vaccinated and boosted? The simple answer is as soon as they are eligible. In the United States, children five years of age and older can receive the Pfizer-BioNTech mRNA vaccine, and the data are clear. The vaccine as is safe and effective in children as it is in adults. And side effects are similar. Whether getting their first, second, or booster doses of vaccine, some children have mild soreness of their arm or may seem a bit more tired perhaps with a headache or achiness or a tummy upset for a few days. But serious side effects are virtually unheard of. The concern about inflammation of the heart following vaccination has been decreasing as we have learned more. For example, a recent review of the data across thousands of cases of myocarditis showed that 98% of even those cases that occurred after vaccination were mild, with hospitalization for about one day. And remember, Inflammation of the heart, myocarditis, is much more common and severe after getting natural COVID disease because of the lack of vaccination. Because the dose of vaccine used in children who are under 12 years is one-third of that used for those over 12 years, some parents think that they should wait until the child turns 12 so they can get the bigger dose. Please do not delay. The lower dose has been shown to work well in those less than 12 years of age, and every day delayed in getting vaccinated is a day when COVID could happen. Three, how should you get your children vaccinated? Check with your child's doctor, the public health department, or the local pharmacy to see where COVID immunizations for children can be obtained. Take your child in for their first dose, explaining to them why the shot is important to prevent them from getting sick. And also explain that they are becoming vaccine superheroes. They are helping to protect their friends, their families, and their communities. Take them back for their second shot in about three weeks and for their booster shot about five months later. We now know that the booster adds an additional layer of protection. With the booster, 
Your child's protection against COVID goes from good to great. If you are wondering why booster shots have become necessary, it is because we have learned that for this particular virus, the protective antibody that our immune system produces in response to the vaccine falls a bit over time and needs to be boosted. This became evident when the virus changed its surface spikes like the Omicron. Boosters help to keep protection high so the virus can be quickly eliminated before it can become a severe infection. This is why booster shots will move your child from good protection to great protection. In summary, widespread protection of children against COVID will help us get back on the road to normal life. Vaccination, including a booster dose, reduces the likelihood that new variants like Omicron will emerge in the future. It also prevents the spread of the virus to those who are too young to receive the vaccine or the immunosuppressed. Also recently, the American Academy of Pediatrics endorsed the CDC's guidance to support children going back to school by vaccinating children five years of age and older. I am hopeful that the pandemic will end soon. In the meantime, we need to continue to protect ourselves and each other from unnecessary severe infections and deaths. Let's move from good to great. Thank you for listening.